You are watching Sipping Off the Cuff. We are Tequila Aficionado. You're probably watching us on YouTube or TequilaAficionado.com. My dancing partner, Mike Morales, and I'm Alex Perez. <laughs> How you doing, Alex? <laughs> Papa was a rolling stone. And we're talking Papa. Papa. Papa, Papa was bueno. also good, as in bueno. He was He was a boy. He was bueno, dude. He was bueno, dude. Bueno. Whoa, smooth. Whoa, dude. Whoa. Sweet. Yeah, we're doing Papa Bueno tequila. Um, these folks are out of uh, they're out of Seattle, I believe, Seattle, Washington, if I'm not That's mistaken. The owners. Yeah. Uh, this is, 1107 is a gnome. Yes, gnome 1107. It is El Viejito. We've had several tequilas from there already. Uh, and, for those of you who shop at Trader Joe's, you may have already tried their distinct tequila that comes out of 1107. Uh, Karma, one of our faves here at Tequila Aficionado. Karma. The Boy George tequila. Yeah, uh, that is the, the also coming out of uh, 1107. Also, uh, one of our Brands of Promise uh, winners, the bronze medal winner, um, Maple de la Terre, comes out of 1107. Oh. Look at the bottle, Alex. This this is kind of like the old Cabo Wabo bottle, man. Check it that is kind out. Of Cabo Wabo, yeah. It's got that long neck to it. It's got a a, a wood top cork, um, with the PB. Not to be, you know, not not to be, uh, uh, not to be confused with peanut butter. Uh, <laughs> peanut butter. <laughs> it is. It's got that. It feels like a, like it's got a hammered look to it. Hammered, hand blown bottle, you know, kind of look. Um, they, you can find them on Instagram. You can find them on Twitter. They're on Facebook. They, they have very. Uh, they're a family owned brand, and uh, it's all about earning your fun. So, so they're kind of on the fun side. Uh, it's all about sharing and having fun. Uh, 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 this is what their their POS looks like. Uh, initially, it came out as a blanco reposado, and then they came up with the añejo, and we were we were lucky enough to get all three from from the folks uh, at Papa Bueno. Yes, thank you. Yeah, thanks for thinking of us. We appreciate that. Uh, so let's mm. go into the blanco. Oh, sorry, I'm, you. I'm sorry, I'm already ahead of you. Ooh, oh, whoa, hey. Isn't that nice? Yeah, whoa, smooth. Whoa. Nice. In my, in my in my worst Keanu Reeves. Oh, like, dude. Oh, dude. What do you do? That was some speed. What do you do? You do that pretty well. What was the other one? The other movie that uh, speed and and oh, Point Break. Johnny Utah. <laughs> they're making a they're making a they're rebooting that movie. Can you believe that? That's a classic. That that was Keanu Reeves and and and. Patrick Swayze, why? <laughs> why? That's my answer. My my answer is why. Oh boy. Okay. Anyways, beautiful, pristine color to this tequila. Very shiny. It's very shiny. Yes. Very shiny. Beautiful agave nose on this thing, man. Yeah, the nose. Wow. Is really nice. I mean, if you're a, a blanco fan, you love to smell the roasted agave. It's, it's, fr it's fruity, Alex. It's a it's it lots of fruit on this. I get all tropical fruit, right? Yeah, yeah. Very nice, Papa. Let's Papa, you're very bueno. Papa, dude. Papa, can you hear me? Seattle Company Jalisco Distillery. We were started uh, and are based in Seattle, Washington. Only agave spirits that are distilled in Jalisco and designated areas in Mexico, however, can be called tequila, of course. 1107 is their gnome. That's uh, it, the distillery. Uh, once Ours was the first distillery in the, in the famed tequila town of Totonilco El Alto, home of Don Julio Patron, all those other, you know, all those other ones in the highlands. Um, according to, to some of the information that we get here, it's uh, th their finish is light, handsome, soft, and friendly. Oh, so cute! Oh, I love that. <laughs> I love the nose. I, I got to tell you, the very impressed yeah, with the, the nose. nose. 
Uh, a lot of really brilliant tequilas come out of, come out of uh, this distillery. Uh, at one point, um, my understanding was that, it, that uh, Patron had, a, had a, a stake in this distillery. That is no longer the case. If you actually go to the website, you can check out their distillery. They got some cool uh, photographs there. Mm. You already got it, huh? Beautiful nose. Wow. Mm. <clears throat> There's still that fruitiness that that um, mm. it's not um, it's not like the other tequilas I've had from a Totonilco. Wow. Um, it's a little bit more on the on the powerful side. I mean, it's more of an in-your-face. Uh, uh, okay. More than what I'm used to, to tasting in, in uh, or smelling and tasting in the in other tequilas from a Totonilco, but you know, where they're sourcing their agave, w you know, we don't know. But I love the smell. This is really a a really really nice nose on this. Yeah, it's. I it's get got flowers little, and fruit, man. It's got a beautiful bouquet for the blanco. I'm just cruising through their website. There, it looks like it's only available in Washington right now. Right now, yeah. Uh, as up until uh, a year or two ago, Washington was a control state, but no longer. And so these folks, uh, you know, came into the market right at the right time, I think. And um, it's actually all over Washington. Yeah, they they've attacked. They they own Bellingham. The state. Nice. They own the state. Very cool. Hmm. Yeah, check out their website. They got some cool stuff on there. Well, um, I uh, some like advice I said, on being on being bueno. Um, I have I have followed them on uh, on on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram. They, they you know what they give me a the, the impression I get is they're, they're very similar to the to the pictures and the impression you get with Casamigos. You know the fun, share it with family. Uh, that kind of thing, and even their photos are 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 leaning in that direction. And everything is Papa themed. So you got the in their cocktail section, the Papa Rita, the Papa Tini. Wow, the Papa Tini. <laughs> the Papa Tini Gold, the Papa's Girl. Okay, Papa and Coke. <laughs> 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 the Papa Sunrise. <laughs> uh, apparently, apparently yeah. they've got it said that they've been rated 96 by Chef Tom Douglas. Who day? I I don't know. <laughs> they're, the they're, from Washington. That would be their reposado, uh, uh, evidently. And um, oh, this is know, not, I like it. Yeah, it's a fairly it's a fairly new brand, but they're oh wow. They're, they're, the poor, uh, okay, the, somebody else's website uh, is, is giving it, rating it a 99. And, um, just that, shot of 100. That's okay, because, you know, we're sipping off the cuff, and we're telling you that uh, Papa Bueno, aside from the, from the name, you know, it means something to them. Um, I like the rustic look of the bottle. Alex, I, I think it's a throwback. To, to old tequila. Sure uh, is. And, and I like that. I like that retro look without being old. Uh, I, I, you know, they're, they're all about fun. They're, 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 um, their uh, slogan is, uh, 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 you have earned your fun, my friend. So it's about earning your fun. And, and again, it's, it's, I think I think it's going to do very well in the market. Um, the I love this Blanco. I, I think. What do you think, Alex? You think you think I, brand of promise on, on I like Blanco? It. It's, it's my style of Blanco. Do uh, you like the packaging? Is it is it something? I do like should, the packaging Look too. at it then for for brand of promise and packaging sure. as well. Love, I love the wood cork. It's got the wood cork. Actually, it's the wood top with the it's cork. Wood top. Synthetic cork, yeah. The, the cork is synthetic, I think. Yeah, I love the bottle. I love bottles. Well, <laughs> you know, this is this is the 
This is why Cabo Wabo. Remember when Sammy had I, and you you talked to him, you interviewed him. Yeah. You know, you you can see that interview and hear that interview on TequilaAficionado.com, and it's also on our YouTube channel. You can run the search, you'll find it. And Alex talked to extensively to Sammy, and this really reminds me of the old blue yeah. uh, Cabo Wabo bottle before they they updated it and before Sammy sold it. And so um, I think these these guys have something. They have something there. They have a great base. I think the Blanco is is very worthy of picking up if you could find it anywhere outside of, of Wait. Washington, or online maybe. Uh, I would say do so. It comes from a very reputable uh, distillery as well. Um, other than that, there's not much to say about it. Um, but I think Alex Brand of Promise on Blanco. Brand, Brand of Promise. I'm looking forward to their uh, Reposado and Yeah. Yeah. Stick with us. We're going to do the Reposado and Añejo coming up. Uh, I'm Mike Morales here in San Antonio. And I'm Alex Perez. You're watching Sipping Off the Cuff. Thanks for watching, and as always, sip wisely.